So we're announcing a, a package of funding for the national women's team to uh, support them in their World Cup qualification campaign for Canada in 2015. So it's £200,000 which will help to uh, level the, the playing field, if you like, between the, the Scottish team and some of their competitors. Yeah, we're delighted that um, the announcement today from the Scottish Government and Sports Scotland about the additional investment into the individual athletes within uh, the women's football programme. Um, it's individual support around um, everybody's circumstances ultimately to help us to, to rest more and train a bit more and give us the best possible chance to qualify for the World Cup in 2015. At the moment I'm a chartered accountant and I work a lot of hours and training at times can be very difficult and you know my firm hugely support my football and really have helped so far in the process to allow me to combine both. This is something that's really exciting to know that we can really maximise training and I know everyone in the team is looking forward to it and it's something that you know, gives us a huge opportunity to really progress and step up to, to meet and be alongside you know, the top sides in Europe. They are now 20th in um, FIFA and 11th in UEFA and that's, that really is fantastic for a non-professional team and remembering that these girls are actually competing against fully professional teams. So where they are now I think it's remarkable and I'm sure with the help that we're going to give them it will make them even better and fingers crossed they make that final. This is a milestone in women's football, maybe in Scottish uh, women's history of, of sport as well but I think that uh, it will have a huge impact of the, on these players, but also on, on the future of the game. I think this will, will have a massive impact. It will help us close the gap on those top teams. We're not saying we're going to go and beat the world champions tomorrow, but it's going to give us that opportunity to develop more, both in terms of our technical player and our physicality. And also the fact that we're training more and then we get more opportunity to go and perhaps visit clubs and youngsters that are here today to watch us train and then tomorrow after the match we've got responsibility in terms of the, the young girls that come and watch us play to go and engage with them and we want to be the best role models that we can be not just necessarily in sport but perhaps for, for life about um, following your dreams and working really hard to achieve whatever that, that dream is.